What's up guys, Rand Racer here with another tech video for you guys today and as you guys uh, can see, finally got my uh, brand new 2011 edition 15 inch MacBook Pro, this is the uh, entry level model, uh, I was originally going to go online and get it so I can customize the screen to get the anti glare but uh, fortunately they only take credit card and I don't have one, my parents don't have one and all my friends that do uh, have limits on them and the price of the MacBook Pro just kind of goes over those limits by quite a lot but anyways just got back from Best Buy and uh, they only sell the uh, base models which I'm okay with uh, but anyways um, this is the entry level version comes with the uh, 2 gigahertz quad core i7 processor 4 gigs of ram 500 uh, gigabyte hard drive uh, has the Intel HD graphics uh, 3000 along with the uh, discrete graphics card from AMD with uh, 256 uh, megabytes of uh, memory for that uh, has the new upgraded FaceTime HD camera which is a uh, long overdue the eyesight camera on the previous model is just um quality it wasn't just that great and uh well you know I made a few uh, YouTube videos off that, and they weren't the greatest, of course. But uh, moving on, we got the uh, optical drive, which is still in all, was still in all the MacBooks, and the new uh, Thunderbolt port, which supports high-speed input and output, and Mini Display Port uh, devices. Um, Thunderbolt's created pretty cool technology. It's also rival USB three USB uh, three point However, there's nothing out there for Thunderbolt yet, but uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, I got the new SDXC card slot, which I'm not really sure. Uh, exactly, but I think it just means uh, the SD card slot's been upgraded to accommodate, you know, higher end SD cards or uh, faster transfer rates or something like that. And everything else is pretty much standard Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and uh, comes with Mac OS uh, X and iLife and all that stuff. And it also meets uh, Energy Star uh, requirements, so, you know, if you like saving. Uh, Plan it a little bit. Well, there you go. But anyways, here's the packaging here. Nothing too spectacular. You got the front of the MacBook. Got the Apple logo on the side here. We just got the picture of the MacBook on the other side here. Um, precision unibody uh, enclosure. Got the new Intel Core i7 uh, quad core processor and the new Thunderbolt um, high speed input and output uh, ports. And that's pretty much it. So without further ado, let's uh, unbox this thing. And we'll just uh, slice and dice. It's open. There we go, that was very easy. And first thing we should see is, of course, a brand new 15 inch MacBook Pro. And it's got a big foam thing on the top here. And designed by uh, Apple in uh, California, we'll just focus on that. There we go. And of course, we just have to lift this out. And it's hard to do this with one hand, that's for sure. All right, we'll just put the uh, MacBook off to the side just for a second and we'll see what else we get. And uh, in comparison with uh, last year's model, everything is pretty much the same thing. You get um, the extension cable for the uh, charger here, and of course you got the uh, MagSafe charger itself with the two prongs on the top, and of course it has the uh, two built-in uh, hooks right there and on the other side so you can wrap your uh, power cord around it make it a lot more easier to carry around one thing to do to note is the uh, charger has two prongs while the uh, extension cable has a ground uh, prong in it as well but uh, I just wanted to note that of course we still got the new newer uh, MagSafe uh, adapter version here and has a little uh, plastic covering on the top for those of you care and that's just the charger uh, next we got just the manuals and uh, everything else so let's pop this thing open so we just got the uh, everything Mac just you know tells you everything about it how to work it and all that stuff nothing too spectacular about that either uh, we also have a uh, Apple branded uh, cleaning cloth here and we have everything else which is just let's see here let's put this thing open so we got the uh, Apple stickers here, the uh, license agreement thing which should be next, yep, and two, uh, whoops, scissors got stuck in there, and two restore discs for the applications and the uh, Mac OS X uh, itself. And uh, other than that guys, that's uh, pretty much it. So you get um, stickers, and manuals, and a cleaning cloth which has the uh, Apple brand on it. So, but anyways, you know, Apple doesn't uh, include very much. So to the MacBook itself, let's just move this off to the uh, side. And hopefully it doesn't fall. Yep, we're good. Alright, so here's the uh, MacBook Pro itself. And I wonder how I'm going to take this off with one hand. But um, anyways, crap, this thing's going to fall. Oh, put it up here. 
There we go. All right, so here's the MacBook Pro itself. Just a quick run through the new stuff. Actually, there's only one new thing, and that is the uh, Thunderbolt here, which also couples as a uh, mini display port, and just got a little uh, Thunderbolt lightning there. Everything else, in comparison with the last year's model, everything is the same thing. You still got the MagSafe power adapter, Ethernet port, mini, um, not mini display, a uh, FireWire port, mini display port slash Thunderbolt, uh, two USB 2.0 ports, the newer uh, SD card reader, and got input output for audio. Of course, got the battery thing here which is not working because I probably haven't turned it on yet. And on the top here, it's got the Apple logo. Whoops, I'll flip it over. And so on the side here, ah, got a little dent there. Oh, that's not dent, that's just dirt, thank God. All right, so without further ado, let's just take off the packaging here. And it's just uh, got a little label here that lets you know that when you uh, crack this thing open, you agree with the uh, licensing and all that, of course. I'll make sure your table's all clean. And that's all open. And of course, this is a very exciting moment. It's been Macless for quite a while now. And there we go. We'll just put this gently on the table. And we'll put the packaging off to the side as well. Sorry about the one-handed video, guys, but uh, they don't make tripods for the uh, iPhone, unfortunately. Just hang on, guys. All right, so let's just flip this thing open here. It's the first time I'm opening this, and it's stuck. Oh, there we go. And wow, 15-inch screen definitely looks a lot more nicer than uh, my previous 13-inch. And for those of you guys wondering, I did sell my 13-inch MacBook Pro here. We just got some packaging here. And got the ghost speakers, keyboards all the same. And uh, oh, yeah, we got the brand new Apple Smell. So let's fire this thing up. Power button's up here. Got a beautiful glossy display, which uh, definitely looks very, very nice. And I uh, believe we'll just be prompted um, of what language we want, and then we're going to see that infamous uh, Mac Snow Leopard OS X uh, intro video. But anyways, um, yeah, very excited that I got this, and I'm very glad I managed to get uh, rid of my uh, old 2010 edition 13-inch MacBook Pro. And sold it for pretty much, you know, even. I sold it for $1,150. I paid $1214 for it, so it definitely was a very good deal, especially considering it's six months old. But, uh, yeah. All right. So of course we want English and then hit next and the next thing of course we're probably going to see is the uh, intro video. The speakers definitely seem a lot more louder than the 13-inch uh, one. And the uh, screen resolution is definitely very, very nice. Very crisp. And of course, we want Canada. And of course, just going to have to set this up and throw the time machine back on this. And uh, anyways, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this. And that's my little unboxing um, of my uh, brand new 15-inch MacBook Pro. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. More videos uh, of this to come with the review and all that. And definitely got a few accessories for it. Got the uh, in-case frost white case here. Moshi uh, clear guard, which actually was from my older MacBook. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.